Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're trying out TikTok hair hacks, which actually involve this. Well, since we spend all of our time on TikTok, yeah, might as well. Like, it shouldn't be surprising that we keep bringing out these TikTok videos because we just keep saving them and sending them to each other. It's I know, and sometimes people send them to me, like my friends send them yeah. to me, and they're like, is this actually possible? And sometimes it's like, you know, don't try it. And sometimes it's like, I don't know. So we have to publish that for the public. The ones that I am trying today are ones that I actually am very intrigued by and want to incorporate in my life if they work. Mm. And then I have some fun ones for you. Kind of produced this one. So this is a surprise for me this time. <laughs> the tables have turned. Mm. So we each have three. That's how I decided to do it. Okay, I and, like that. And mostly you got the ones that needed long hair. I see how you got to that conclusion. Yes. <laughs> so the very first one, we get to use the Slurpees. Oh, yay! Well, do you want a sip of your Slurpee? Yes, please. We got Coca-Cola and Cherry. Cheers. Brain freeze break. All right, before I give myself a lip stain, let's see the video. So she's got Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. I got Slurpees. Okay. Put, oh. it in, put it in pigtails. Right off the bed. The hole in the lid she's using is smaller than this one. I but, then, but then she's wrapping her, okay. her hair around it to make big fun buns, which is your favorite thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going to be a big I'm old, not, big I'm not old sure bun. that it's necessary, but you know, I, it's not too many things with like people putting random things mm -hmm. in their buns and this one got me a freezy so this is the one we're doing. <laughs> I like how you produce. <laughs> so far A plus. <laughs> you can have my job. Yeah let's clean off these lids. No slurpee in your hair. All right I'll do this while you put your hair into some pigtails. Okay. I've got a sugar high already. I'm gonna sit my pigtails a little closer together because I can already tell these are gonna be wide and otherwise it's gonna cover <laughs> my ear. Yep, that's what I thought. That's huge. She must have a big head. I feel like these are equidistant. We're going for like some loose, undone, like, oh, she doesn't have lids in her hair. <laughs> that's the goal. Obviously. That's usually what I think when I see people say, oh, like that hairstyle, clearly lacks lids. You put your hair through it, mm -hmm. you wrap your hair around it and you use another hair tie over it somehow. It was unclear. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot more. Uh, it's okay. We're here for the shape. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. like, let's see what happened next. Let's try to inspect. She oh, like, wraps it around. She's gonna go and then she has another hair tie on her hand, and it looks like it goes over. Yeah, like yeah. around the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna propose we uh, do a little finger back combing. Okay. All right. She kind of like zhuzhed mm -hmm. like, and like rotated. Mm -hmm. Holy buns. Oh gosh. Oh no. Hold on. It went under. It went under. The lid. Abort! Abort! Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, well, first try didn't go well. Let's try again. Hold on, let me try it out. Okay, you try that side. You no, know, the slippery, it's slippery. The slippery surface and combo with the hair is like not a good combo. Alright, the hairstylist in me is saying if I bobby pin it here, it'll work. The Where digital media purist in me is saying that was a part of the TikTok. Well, I'm just gonna let you know the hair tie thing, there's no way that works. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bobby pin in. So I'm gonna bobby pin the hair to the cup lid. I'm really trying here, guys. I this... promise I am. Uh, There's no way this works. Uh, um, I don't know how she did it. I consider it a small miracle. Props to her. Yeah, I'm gonna do this like a like a donut bun kind of thing. We're gonna go above and below and kind of splay it out this way. Oh, uh, yeah, that is a better idea. Ah! Uh, no! No! I call BS. There's no way. <laughs> You're using a hair bungee. Are you gonna hook it in too? Don't know, don't know. <laughs> okay, but my side looks better than yours. Okay. Well, best thing to come out of this hairstyle is a slurpee. No complaints <laughs> there. I'm gonna say this one failed on, it's like, is it a real hack? And did it perform similar to how they explained in the video? I'm gonna say no. Mm. I'm gonna say a whopping no on both. I also have a conspiracy theory that uh, there were no actual <laughs> lids in that after hairstyle. <laughs> I completely agree with that. Alrighty, next one is a dry shampoo hack that I have not quite seen before. Hmm. Mm. I love dry shampoo. <laughs> Same. Starting on a good note. So this is for if you hate the way that like dry shampoo makes you feel. The texture of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So she takes a dry shampoo, puts it in all of her hair, mm -hmm. and then brushes it through. So far okay. so good. But then she mists it with water and blow dries it. Okay, and she says that it feels a lot more refreshed than if you just use dry shampoo. Okay, so I actually have really high hopes for this because yeah. I already 
have done in the past a blow dry combo with the dry shampoo. So why have I not tried this? <laughs> so I'm on second day. My hair is like moderately got a little tackiness to it. Mm. You have clean hair, so tackiness. This one's mine. Step one: dry shampoo. This is the direct flight dry shampoo from. IGK, it is the step down from their super intense first class charcoal dry shampoo. So this one's kind of like a good middle of the road. Anna Lara has reminded me that she used a non-aerosol dry shampoo. So I also have that on this side. This is the Verb Gentle Cleanse and Light Dry Shampoo. Also, I got it all over my face. <laughs> oh, it's coming out of the lid. That's why. Screw the lid on tight. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh gosh. Maybe hold it vertically. Ah! Oh, vertically! <laughs> I mixed it the vertical and the horse. <laughs> vertical is straight up. <laughs> Literally every time you're not trying to put it in your hair, it's coming out. Maybe if I just go like this. If that isn't working, we're done. Wow. I don't know what happened there. I'm sure there were instructions on the bottle I should have read. All right, so my hair feels sufficiently refreshed after that anyway, just because like, I was only on the second day and I can usually go three or four days. Things feel fine. They feel, you know, like a mix of a little bit of oil with the dry shampoo. You use dry shampoo, you know the feeling. And then we're gonna brush it through. All right, brushing it through seems to have helped the white cast of putting in way too much dry shampoo. And then she said to spray the roots. Uh-huh, yep, that's a feeling. And now for the hair dryer. It feels nice, it feels good. How different does it feel than like your normal dry shampoo application? Stick your hand in there, I don't know. She's saying that it's supposed to help if you don't like the way dry shampoo feels in your hair. Yeah. I like the air style slide better. Yeah, me too. I, I do think it distributes it down the hair better. That makes sense. It definitely, like I feel some texture, but it's definitely not as gritty. Like it doesn't have that like oily mixed mm. with whatever grit yeah. at all. Like any oil stuff is gone. Right. And you can feel a tiny bit of like the powderiness. Okay. We're basically out of shower now. Like, yeah, it's really I mean, close. It's, it's that extra little cleanse. Yeah. And I think obviously it's only available to you like if it's not gonna encourage your hair to recoil into a wave pattern. Right. I don't know if like diffusing your curls after right. putting water in it would give you the same effect. So I think it's probably only available to people with like straighter, Right. less for his prone hair. It's not necessarily the best thing for all hair types, but it was a really nice refresh. Yeah. So I liked it. I'm, I'm a big fan for me, mm -hmm. for anyone with hair kind of like mine or Anna Laura's. If you're wearing it straighter, whatever, yes. I think it's a pass. Yeah. Double check. Ding, ding. She <laughs> also had a very good explanation of that, so. Yeah, she We did. don't even have to critique that part. That's true, good job, girl. We love it. Next. All right, this is one that you sent me. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yep, I love yep. this one. So you keep adding in more hair and you just keep tying a knot into it. So it's a faux fishtail, but it actually does look like a fishtail. I don't yeah. know how many faux fishtails I've seen where I'm like, doesn't Can you like call it that? And then like, look at it all fluffed out with the cute oh, little yeah. ribbon. Oh, and the bow at the end. I honestly didn't finish this video when I sent it to you. <laughs> also shout out Mindy of Cute Girls Hairstyles. Oh, we love you. Mindy McKnight. Yeah. I know her. <laughs> Yeah. So we need a ribbon. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get crafty. I'll be okay. right back. Kaylee has an entire uh, closet just full of craft supplies. It, its name is Crafty. Yep. Which ribbon? Oh my gosh. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, that's kind of thick. Let's not do velvet. Ooh, how about this? Just like black oh, satin. That. That's yeah? cute. Okay, in the video though, she oh, was doing okay. it on somebody. I'll so. do it on you. I'll do I it on you. Like, let's like let me do a bunch of them, and then you need to try it and see if it's doable on yourself. Okay. I think that's the right length. I don't really know. Let's just go with it. Okay. Here we go. Two pieces from the front and come back. She said this goes underneath here. So there's that. And then you tie it in a half knot. Boop. And I'm gonna go ahead and like pull this hair a little bit. Just tighten her up. All right, and then hands free, I get to pick up my next two sections. They go over the previous ones and you tie your ribbon again. I'm just gonna use these middle fingers to hold the hair in place while I use my other fingers to tie it. Mmm, genius. Oh, wow. This would be really easy to do on a kid, which mm. is probably, you know, cute girls' hairstyles. That's what they're all about. <gasps> you have a husky puppy in your apartment? <gasps> Where? That man is walking it. Stop! <laughs> We're just going to try to keep Anna from running down to the parking lot. 
stealing that man's dog? That's not okay, right? Confirmed, it's not okay <laughs> to steal that man's dog. Okay, cool. We only have a couple pieces left, so you wanna see if you can do it on yourself? Sure. So I think if you're doing it on yourself, I would like put the ribbons there so you can find them more easily. Mm. And then, yeah, you're gonna pick up, you only have enough for maybe two more sections. So you're gonna pick up a little piece on either side and put it over the ribbon. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm that it seems much easier to do on somebody else. Did All I right. just ruin your work? You did not ruin my work. But it does seem like it would be a lot harder to do yeah. on yourself. Because it's really hard to like keep those sections clean when you can't see what you're doing. Yeah. Alrighty, so now I saw that she had pulled it apart by the end of it. Oh, this is the easiest pull apart ever. Are you kidding me? Ooh, because it's not dependent on the other one. Yeah, exactly. It's Wow, this is a pull apart dream. I would just caution against like getting too enthusiastic because that, that's already happened. All right, so I'm not gonna pull apart the ones on top here though because we obviously don't need that. Oh, this is so cute. Right? Oh, yeah. I missed this little bottom piece. I've gotten it pretty much all where I like it. So then you just loop these around a couple of times to finish off the end, make it look all nice and pretty and wrapped up. Tie a little half knot again, final half knot of the hairstyle. Tie a little bow. All right, let me trim. I've got one ribbon longer than the other. We're just gonna trim her. All right, and now I've got to fix all the user error areas. One moment. <laughs> so we've got this big chunk that fell out. This is my PSA to start with elastics on the very first one. And then uh, this is just, you know, make sure you check the very bottom of the braid. That's what these two pieces of hair want you to know. I'm just gonna do this number. When all else fails, duck and cover. Okay, and then this one little last one. And. It's like it never happened. Look at it! I love it! I love this. That's this is so, so cute. cute! No braiding That's skills so required. Cute. If you can organize sections of hair and tie a half knot, you two can do this full fishtail braid. We love it. Wow. That is the most successful fishtail hack I've ever seen. Same. Wow, that one went so well. That is a big old check mark. I, I think she explained that it. really well too. Yeah. I think that was a lot of information for a TikTok. It was, okay, and it's also, I think, from one of her YouTube videos. I do have to say, Mindy is one of the best, like, hair teachers mm. on the interwebs. She does break things down very succinctly. Mm -hmm. She does her steps really well. Mm. She doesn't cut corners. We love we stand. that. Yeah. We love a clear educational woman. And now I'm on to something that I'm very excited about. It's how to fake curtain bangs. Of course you are. I'm gonna get curtain bangs, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I can only hold her off for so long. I'm just waiting for the trend to pass. <laughs> curtain bangs hack, let's see. Okay, so you see all of those girls getting their hair cut with the curtain bangs and they look so good, yeah. literally so good. Absolutely. But I wanna show you a way that you can do the curtain bangs, kinda get that style without mm -hmm. cutting your hair. And all of those girls that get those curtain bangs done, you have to style them. You can't just have curtain bangs and not style them, okay? And I'm gonna turn my one inch curling iron on 360 degrees, okay? Don't go any higher. You're gonna fry Absolutely. your hair. Got I it? love this Got girl. All right, so I sectioned out this like front piece. We're we gonna curl all of this piece, styler. okay? So hold on. Okay, so we're gonna go away from the face, uh -huh. curl it up, uh -huh. and then pull down. Got it? Got it. Not even doing those ends, all right. Can you see the difference? Oh, that's what see makes curtain it. Curtain bangs? Yeah, no curtain bangs. I don't love this like second bump hair. under it right here. There, once she's like brushed it out a little, Ooh, yeah. I'm into it. Mm -hmm. So all I want right. to try it. I want to see right. if it can get me the look without the cut. I love it. Let me plug in my one inch curling iron to 360 degrees, no hotter. And while that heats up, I'm going to put in some heat protectant. Oh, yes. Because my sissy will, I think, jump across the room and tackle me if I don't. Yes, I will. Today I put in so much heat protectant that I had to re-blow dry my hair after. <laughs> but real talk, do we need Slurpees every time we film? Uh, we might. Slurpees are vodka. <laughs> Tequila. Yes. Put it together. Listen, I'm not gonna say that sneaking in an airplane bottle of rum and putting it into a Coke Icy at a movie is the best thing that's ever happened to me because obviously I've definitely never done that, but like, <laughs> okay, so I'm sectioning off this little bangish area. Clip the rest back. Let me see how she held this curling iron. Okay, so she's holding it at this angle, right about right here. Curling away. 
and then pulling straight through. Cool, let's do it. I don't know if I'm leaving enough ends out. That was kind of an accident. All right, and then pull it straight out. I'm gonna leave that there to cool. Do the same thing on the other side, see if I could do a little bit better with those ends. Okay, got a good amount of end out this time. And pull it straight out. Okay, I have my two ringlets. <laughs> what happens when I do this? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm trying to like pull this forward and I've got my little hand back here pulling back this bend in it. Okay, you kind of get it. So break it up. I'm pulling it forward where I want it on this side. And then I'm like shaking the hair back and like combing this little wave into place with this hand. Y'all see, I want curtain bangs. <laughs> and I can wear my hair in a little ponytail like this and basically wear this hair down. <sighs> Come on. So I think the other thing that I would add into this, just like if you really want to fake it and like play around, is I would blow dry this hair straight forward like bangs before you do the curl. That way it makes more of this swoop. Because right now, because I dried my hair back, you guys literally just saw me do that it's a little bit more of a shallow angle. Just gonna hold the shape that I want over here. Let that dry for a second. All right, I think I did it. That's cute. Yeah, I like this new, like, I like this way to curl my hair next to my face. It's cute. I love it. Me too, wow, it worked. Guys, I have been doing all kinds of crazy stuff trying to get my hair into this shape, and this is the easiest way I've tried and one of the most successful, so 10 out of 10. Recommend, definitely give it a try. What do you think, sissy? I think that worked. I think that gets a double check. Double double check. Guess what time it is now? What time is it? It's sissy time. I keep seeing things like this on TikTok and my hair is not long enough to fact check it. So I'm gonna need you. Oh, it's coming. Ready? Yes. Easy, no hair tie bun. Hmm. Can you fact check this for Wait. me? Wait. Okay, okay, hold on. Can we first address the fact that that was the fakest security test I've ever oh, seen? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That was, her body was moving and her head was like, look how secure it is. It's so secure. It's so secure, my head's moving in so many places. Are we talking about your bra or your hair? Cause like, you gotta move the head. You wanna see a security test, I'll show you a security test. Sure. We'll get there. All right, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check this. We're gonna check this out. Check it. Let's just do all the hair here. Okay. Left hand is under. Uh huh. And then you turn your left hand upside down. Yep. And then you wrap this. Mm hmm. E, I have a little nubbin. Oh, and take off my ring. Wait a second, though. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. What? I mean, I don't know what to say. That worked. That's impressive. This isn't gonna last. Like, I see why she did this. <laughs> like, I have a few gentle nods in it. Like, I could not work out in this. Yeah. But if you're like burning up, don't have a hair tie, you need to get your hair off your neck. That's what I was thinking. I was, it's for those like, excuse me, it's too hot in here moments. Yeah. So I usually do actually a tie because I find myself in these situations without a hair tie and my hair needs to be up. But I always just tie it in a knot and like pull the ends through and that has a, like a <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do it. Like yeah. you see it, you're like, what's going on with your hair? It's off my neck. That's all it needs in that moment. That's but so funny. this is so much better. I feel like if you put like two Frenchies in, you'd be good though. Oh yeah. I feel like we've alluded to Frenchies a lot lately. Let's just like hold Let's one just up. have a little Beauty moment. blogger, hold up to the camera For those moment. of you who are new here. So these are U-shaped hair pins. These are the big ones. So this is the small one. And they are flocked, which means that they feel like velvet. Yeah. So they go in and they stay in your hair, but they also come out without ripping any hair. We love. Yeah, if you have hard to pin hair, these will change your life forever. Anyway, wow, anyway. this is unexpectedly okay, good. Okay, now I, now I can do it. What? I feel good about that. That's insane. Yeah. You have a lot of hair to do that with. That was a real hair test. Wow. All right, check, check, check. I'm shocked. Me too, honestly. <laughs> because I've seen so many like tie your hair into a bun videos and I'm like, come on. Yeah. Like, but, okay, usually I do see them, let's just say they didn't put these in there. So let's just do a little shake it out without the pins in there. It's not. <laughs> we knew that was coming. That's cool though. Yeah, I'm using that one in my daily life. Awesome. Now. Hold on, I want to do it again. I'm surprised and pleased. I'm shocked. I mean, it's like so easy. 
what in the world? What? Where has this been all my life? I'm never using hair ties again. <laughs> I look for hair ties, but I don't need them. <laughs> you do to work out. I do need them. <laughs> but this is this is a big deal. Well, you're hired. <laughs> I'm hired to my channel. <laughs> you are. You found hacks that were really good. Mine, like, suck. Maybe you guys enjoy singing boats that are bad, though. I think the bad ones are fun. I mean, I did leave the lids in here on purpose. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I kind of thought that the lids could work. You're not an idiot. You haven't been doing hair for 10 years. I saw that, and I was like, possible. <laughs> Legitimate. So, I say this trick works in the whole, like, one category but not the other because she did do that shake around and I don't think that that uh, was, that okay. was a little, that was a little, little deceiving. Little thing newsy. But I love this trick and I will continue to do it, so. Yeah. It is a check mark. But to add the security that she was missing, use a couple pins. Yeah. So reusing things to make buttons. We're bringing it back full circle. All right. I saw this idea several times and then I just liked the first part of this. <laughs> okay, so. This is for all of my short-haired girls who want cute, top-knot messy buns. Oh. Section the bottom of your hair into little ponytails. So these are cute for like, I want to do a whole video next. on like generally do baby hair three. fixes, especially next, like high ponytail baby hair Make fixes. A high pony. so this is the part. Scrunchie will help add volume oh, yeah. to your bun later. Pull out baby hairs as needed. Take a normal elastic, wrap it around oh. the scrunchie, and then tuck as needed. Yeah. Once you have it Cute. in your desired shape, go ahead and pin it in place. I'm actually going to pin some of the little ponytail flyaways in the back. And then spray liberally with hairspray. This is an easy hack for all my short haired girls to get that cute top knot look. That is a top knot. That thing is on her head. Yeah. I like that shape a lot. Yeah. I have a feeling, just a little prediction, that you're going to pull it to be a little more asymmetric than that. But I love that. I think the center of that giving it that base is going to be so cute. I hope so. Can't wait. So my hair has just gotten to where I can do like a high ponytail pretty quickly and easily. And there's enough hair there for a high ponytail. But I'm definitely dealing with the short neck hairs. But basically, you make little bubbles with your hair first. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so uh, things transpired. <laughs> wow, my hair looks great. I tried the first time. I had the elastics at the wrong height. I was like, I'm just gonna take it out, redo it real quick. Use some lemon essential oil, re one of our previous TikTok hair hack videos to break the hair elastics worked like a charm, but then it was still on my hair, so every time I tried to put it elastic again, it broke! <laughs> so I eventually gave up and now I braided the back. And we're gonna pick up the tutorial with the modification. <laughs> she didn't do anything wrong, I did, just to be clear. All right, so we're sweeping the hair into a high ponytail with a scrunchie. And I noticed that she used a hair scrunchie that kind of matched her hair. So I am, um, well, I thought my hair was lighter than it is, but I grabbed one that I thought was close to my hair color. <laughs> All right, I had a bobby pen holding the end of that braid, so I'm gonna pull that out, pull out any baby hairs as wanted, make this thing in the center of my head. So she said, basically you put all your hair around the bun, kind of like you're using a bun maker. Do you guys remember those? So splayed it all around, try to cover everything as much as possible. Gonna take a big hair tie. Oh, that's fun. I do like already that the scrunchie is a more unique shape, so you're not gonna get like a perfect circle bun. <laughs> The circle bun is my beef with the bun maker, so so far so good with just like a little bit more natural looking bun. Cute! I'm trying to feel around for any areas where I can feel hair scrunchy and just move the hair around. But I think I'm good. And now she said to just take these ends back and tuck them into the hair elastic and kind of like make the shape that way. Also, can I point out how cute her blue hair is? I'm not gonna be a blue hair girl, but she looks real cute with it. So I think the first thing I'm gonna work on is like tucking things in and then I'll pull stuff apart. I'm kind of like crisscrossing where I'm tucking stuff too to make it look a little bit more interesting. Wow, I mean, so far so good on this. Wow, I already like it, but now we're gonna pull this apart. Anywhere I want more volume. I'm even gonna pull this guy apart a little bit just to make it melt more. For the sake of like making everything fit together, like she used some pins, so I'm gonna use some pins. There's like this gap right here and I think it would look really good if this was up here. So I'm just gonna kind of pin into this hair, under the hair, over the scrunchie. It mostly worked. I'm just gonna pull this out. Yeah! Oh, this is gonna be good. Um, take any of these crazy ends. Tuck them, pin them. I think I would need a little more practice to make this exactly as cute as hers. Wow, wow, wow. I like this a lot. I think this would be good for shorter hair that needs to be filled out and finer hair that needs to be filled out. 
I do think if you have like really fine hair and you feel like your hair might poke through, uh, get a scrunchie that really matches your hair color. And yes, wow. All right, well sis, come tell me what you think. Oh my gosh. I can't believe, look, our buns are the same size practically. Whoa. I actually have to use fake hair to make my bun this big, mm. normally. Scrunchies are way mm. cheaper Whoa. than fake hair. <laughs> well, this has been the most successful TikTok video of all time. Hey. That definitely gets a double check. Wow, so good. Yeah, I recommend it. Yeah. Anyway, wow, I love this. I've been wearing high ponytails and buns so much since that Ari video. Yeah. And I feel like this lets me do it without wearing hair extensions. Yeah. It's just a scrunchie. It's faster too. Like it'll take me a minute to like get my groove with it. Also, but... you could put another scrunchie around that. If it... Oh my gosh. Options are endless. Well, you crushed it. Thank you. That was you. wonderful. Aside from the Dunkin' Donuts lids, which I'm starting to suspect was only for the Slurpees. I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, these are all really wonderful hacks. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when a hairstylist picks them <laughs> versus a pedestrian. Oh my God. <laughs> This was really fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times I feel like the, the payoff, like the fun part of watching these videos is yeah. like seeing what fails. But I think it's also fun to see what works. Yeah. Like these are actually like Kaylee Melissa approved sans um, Slurpee lids. <laughs> Everything else actually worked. Everything else was really yeah. fun. I really liked it. I hope that you like whatever additions I've made, but I'm big happy. I hope yeah. you guys are too. I'm a big fan. That's it for today. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button to help support the channel. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button to join the Brainholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. And all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every, every time, time we post a new video. video. On Fridays. <laughs> and that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with us. And we'll see you in the next video. Mwah! Bye! If you can't tell, this is a life-changing moment. I will haunt your children. It's a weird threat. But now, oh bless you. Sorry. I was really trying to hold it in. I was wondering why you're making that face. <laughs> I was like, it's not a sad story. <laughs> <laughs>